Oh, this one's gonna be weird. Did it get weird? Yeah. Let's get weird. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am getting weird. Yeah, this is a gift from the magnificent bastard David Tauber. David Tauber, you magnificent bastard. Let's get weird. This is not whiskey. Let's get whiskey and weird. What? It's not whiskey. What's not even? Monterey rye. Uh, spirits distilled from 50% rye and 50% sugar. Yeah. Huh. That's a moonshiner's trick. They call it a, a no-cook style mash. Yeah. Which means normally you heat up and cook grains in water right. in order to extract the sugars that the yeast eats. Yeah. A moonshiner's trick is to take the grain and sugar right. and just add yeast. So wasn't it a couple of years ago... Yeah. We came across somebody. He didn't, we did. He didn't realize he was not making whiskey. He was like, he, hey, bud. He was making this, basically. Hey, hey bud. It wasn't this company. It was like, no. hey, you, you realize it's not whiskey. That's not whiskey. Yeah. yeah. He had no idea. <laughs> then they're aging this sugar rye mash bill yeah. in uh, Hungarian and American oak. Okay. Now, well, this is Gonzales, California. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Do you think the name Monterey rye is a little misleading? Why? Because it's not whiskey. But because it doesn't say rye. whiskey anywhere on the bottle. Right. It's a fin it's, it's so, effectively like a ride moon illegal moonshine. Right. So rye is a grain. Right. Like if there was a bourbon that had a ton of sugar, you can't call it right. bourbon because bourbon is a grain. It's a category. Right. This is just naming like a, 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 an ingredient. So I guess that's why they can get away with it. Yeah, if you would have so, said like Monterey uh, wheat. Then still. Monterey corn, yeah. I don't no, know, I man. get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I'm saying, how would you get away with I it? I am surprised that TTB approved that. I would say, That's all I'm saying. I would say, how would you be able to get away with that? I'm saying, well, it's not a category with criteria. It's the grain of the criteria, even though rye whiskey... Yeah. What is the criteria specifically for rye whiskey? Is it 51%? 51% rye and then only other grains. So this, No sugar. This says... 50% rye, so even by even then, the it's not, rye, it's not right. Like the... Okay, but is it good though, Daniel? I don't know, we'll see. Ooh, what is that, butterscotch? And yeah. uh, and butterscotch and antiseptic. Oh, come on. Smell, what like, you, a, um, like a Butter? iodine. No, not iodine. Uh, I'm smelling. It's a slight, here's the thing, it's a butterscotch which is nice. It's a nice butterscotch, yeah. but then you have this thread of uh, it's a watered down nail polish. Yeah, it reminds me of walking into a dentist office where they try to cover all the cleaning chemicals with right. like minty toothpaste smells. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the richness of that uh, that caramel butterscotch type mm -hmm. of deal, that's Very. nicer than I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. It is a Werther's Original mixed with medicinal alcohol. Mm -hmm. Huh. Bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't think there's a, a ton of layered things going on. Mm-mm. Based on the nose. Uh, but what's there? And it's pot still. Maybe we're way off base on this no sugar added, guys. Let's add sugar to all whiskey now. Oh, whoa. Oh, weird. Well, where did that char note I don't know. come from? That's bizarre. It's a blend of toothpaste mint. Honey mm -hmm. and barrel char, mm -hmm. like absolutely that trio. Yeah, uh, minty toothpaste, barrel char, and honey. Dense, dense honey. So for me, it goes simple syrup all over barrel char. That's what the first leading note is for me on the taste, and then oh. It, oh. it gets a bit more bitter as you go back. Like the barrel char wakes up more and more. The sh um, sweetness takes more and more of the back seat. It turns into almost a sweetened peanut butter note for me. But no, peanut butter is the wrong. A nut butter? Something. Something in the direction of peanut butter. You can nut butter anything. Is it? It's. It's weird how much more I like the nose than the taste. Mm -hmm. Nose sets me up for what should be a delightful and pleasant surprise. The palate is actually more complex than the nose, but not very enjoyable. Yeah, 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 yeah. The nose is like, oh, this is 
simple yet delightful. And yeah. the palate's like, well, this is more complicated, but I not as the, good. I was not finding the things I was getting on the menu. I'll bet it'd make an interesting cocktail as a base ingredient because there's a lot of things that it feels like you already added into the cocktail. Maybe I would be concerned even at a lower temperature mm. that char note mm -hmm. just not dominating. only yeah not only dominating but being amplified while all of the other sugar stuff got diluted. Did he put his phone number on the back of the label? Wow, that is a commitment. Uh, I employ the no cook traditional sour mash whiskey method. So here's the thing: this is, if nothing else, very traditional. Oh, absolutely, and very uh, uh, transparent. Yeah, he is. Absolutely telling you exactly what he'd made for you. Mm -hmm. And kudos to him for that. Many a moonshiner have been doing similar things. Yeah. For a long time. You know, that's funny. If I if I remember where Gonzalez, California you know what, is. This Yeah, this is just kind of surprising on multiple levels because the more I go back to this, at first all the sweetness is losing a step and the barrel char becomes more and more prominent. You're starting to find that barrel bitterness, and now the sweetness is fighting its way back. This is weird, man. This is throwing me a bit. Hmm. So I have ridden my motorcycle through Gonzales. Yeah. I think if you go into it with moonshine expectations. Yes, that's what it was. I think you'll be good. Moonshine expectations? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to remember where Gonzales was. It's on 101 on the way up north to San Francisco. Yeah. I've driven through Gonzales probably 200 times, maybe more. You know where I drove through like within the last two weeks? Wendy's. No. Uh, Chick-fil-A. No. <laughs> Chipotle. It's a, new, it's a new game. Well, yeah. I mean, like, like, yeah. Yeah. Like three, two or three times a week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but there's also Blanco. Oh, Blanco. Blanco. Yeah, Blanco. That's a nice little spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Blanco. It's a delightful point down down there. Blanco. Porter Porter 1000. Just thinking out loud here, but if you blended Octomore mm. with the single malt of magnificence. <laughs> Would you be able to call it Octomom? Yeah, it's like a superhero character. It's very, very funny. <laughs> Do you know the Octomom he's referring to? No. Yes. Okay, so. What is Octomom? Years ago, there was this mom that had octuplets. Oh, yeah. I remember that in the news. Yeah. She was referred to as Octomom? Octomom. Nice. Yeah, well, I mean, there's probably other things that you would rather get a catchy nickname for than, yeah, than cranking out eight human beings. Good God. Was one day they'll discover Ingr Emma's secret knife draw. <laughs> yeah, where all the vault knives go to be together, surrounded by Lafroy glasses. Yeah, is she pilfering the knives? She might be. She <laughs> stealing all the knives <laughs> and stacking Lafroigs across the entire back wall. Is it and it's back? Huh. Yeah. You know, I mean, you could change the code to the vault. Yeah, yeah but here's the thing: she does a lot of work I don't want to do in here. Oh. So, and then I would have to do it. Yeah. So that's a trade off, really. Right. <laughs> what you could do is give me the code. No. And I would. No, the irony is, I think I've given you the code. You just never remember it. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, there's codes probably about half the buildings. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't let anybody give me keys. Yeah. So you don't put that on me. No, I don't. But I will. I the code all day long. I will. Well, I'll text people a couple times a week. What's the code of the distillery? It's like, look in our history what's of our the, chat. What's the code of the gym? I'm not going to search through that. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, so, Oof. okay. No. If you go into it with moonshine expectations, then it's an interesting exploration into a very traditional method. Yeah. But I think based on the sugar heavy, you know, pseudo whiskey things that I've yeah. had before, I think I just prefer what the natural whiskey mash bills and things are doing. Me too. In a barrel and in a glass, more so than whenever you crank a ton of sugar in there. Me too. That's not to say sugar can't result in some delightful things. There's been many a rum that I thought, damn, this is fantastic. But I prefer the whiskey whiskey and less so the moonshine whiskey. So far, maybe something will surprise me. Here's okay. defining sealing and drinking. For very elaborate hand gestures. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Nope. <laughs>